Samsung unveiling the new Galaxy Note 8 phone Wednesday. Here's what one techie says is good about this Galaxy 8. Roll tape. Based on rumors, right, yes. because it's not out yet, right. I would say that the iPhone 8 might outdo Samsung in terms of innovation because of what I'm hearing in terms of augmented reality. Okay, so it's better because of augmented reality. We got that. Gene Monster's with us, managing partner at Loop Adventures. All right, Gene, you've seen, and so have we, you've seen the Galaxy 8. How do you think it stacks up against what we're expecting to see from the new Apple iPhone? It's apples and oranges, and I think that tape you just had hit it right on, is that it's all about augmented reality for the next iPhone. And for the Samsung people, it's all going to be about a bigger screen and back, uh, uh, hold on to your seats here, back to a stylus, yeah. a pen. They're really pushing that hard. Uh, that would uh, cause Apple to uh, have some serious chagrin. But... So I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, these are going after different markets. There will be some inspiration that Apple's going to gain from this product. And specifically, they're testing what Samsung is testing, this bigger form factor. It's going to be 20% bigger than the iPhone. And would be curious to see what that does for some of the Galaxy demand. Tell me about this augmented uh, reality. Is that right? Uh, augmented reality. Supposed to be a big uh, feature on the upcoming iPhone. Tell me what exactly is that? How does it work and what will it deliver to me? So it's going to superimpose the digital world on top of the real world. So you could use it everything for remembering someone's name. You could be working on uh, a, a sink at home and a plumber who could be totally remote could be showing you what uh, things you need to change. An artist could be showing you drawings of what a building could look like actually at the site. You could be standing at the site. And when you talk to Apple about it, they say it's hard to predict where this is going. We believe this is going to be the next gold rush. When you think about what happened with the gold rush of developers around the App Store, we think there'll be a similar gold rush around augmented reality. But uh, this question about the use case is just getting framed in right now. So if you had to choose, I know you're saying it's apples and oranges, but for a guy like you, I mean, you're thoroughly immersed in technology, which will you go for? Don't say both. You'll probably have both. But I want to know which one you prefer. No brainer, it's the next iPhone because of this augmented reality piece, I think is really going to differentiate these devices. Okay, we'll take that. A clean cut answer. That's very interesting. We like that. But how about the price? I am told that the Galaxy 8 is going to be 900 and change, and the iPhone close to 1,000 bucks. Is that accurate? Yep, that's accurate. And so that's that higher end iPhone that you're talking about that's going to be $1,000 plus, very similar to the, the Note 8. Uh, and the reality is, is that only about 30% of the market's going to be willing to pay for this. But for that 30% who wants the latest and greatest, an extra couple hundred dollars for two years sure. of a device that you use more than any other device in your life, it's worth it. Just out of interest, do they give these phones to you because you're so immersed in technology? I wish they would. We have to stand in line just like everybody else, but we're, we definitely are, are the first uh, to be standing in line. Okay, uh, real fast on Tesla. They're taking on Uber with something called the Tesla Fleet. This allows an owner's vehicle to be rented when they're not using that vehicle. Maybe they're at work. Somebody else could rent this vehicle whilst they are at work. That's the gist of it, I think. Is this a big deal for Tesla? Autonomy is a huge deal uh, for uh, Tesla, and I think this, this fleet approach, it's going to have some marginal adoption because I think a lot of Tesla owners, even regular people, don't want their car kind of turned over to the fleet during the day. So I think what is more important is really what's going to happen just around autonomy and the impact on ride sharing. All right, Gene, look, thanks very much indeed. You make uh, technology understandable to the rest of us, and for that, we're deeply grateful. Thank you, Gene. Thank you, Stuart. <laughs>